Hi, I'm David and welcome to Watt Circuit. This video, we've been given the opportunity to come down to the Motivate Forums down in Oxford, which are being held at the Williams F1 Centre, as you can see behind me. We've had a chance to talk to some of the exhibitors and see some of the exciting stuff that they're bringing out at the moment. So without further ado, some of the exhibitors. So we're talking to uh, James from Universal Science. Can you just tell us a bit about what you do? Yes, Universal Science is a uh, customer-facing engineering company um, involved with uh, thermal management of electronics. As it says, calling electronics by design is what we do. We are customer-facing, engineering to engineering uh, solutions providing for all things to do with electronics to keep you running at the right temperature. So you've got a lot of <coughs> expertise in thermal solutions, finding the right solution thing, but you've also got some assembly facilities and things you're talking about, don't you? Yeah, so what we do is we work with the engineer with a blank sheet of paper, ask the engineer what he's hoping to achieve from his design, um, from the initial discussion with the engineer, we'll work out a thermal system. With the thermal system will come the kind of materials that are needed to be used within that system. There'll be thermal interfacing materials, heat sinks, various substrate materials. We'll fine tune and optimise the design with the client. And then we'll put together a sub-assembly if the client requires it. If they've got their own assembly, that's all well and good or they use a preferred uh, assembly house, that's okay too. We uh, would just be an assistance to the customer rather than walking away and uh, we'd, let, uh, we'd put our arms around him and say, look, you know, or her, and uh, we'll, we'll help you produce something that is a uh, universal science seal of approval on the thermals at least. That's really interesting. And can you talk us through some of the examples you've got here on the table? And some <coughs> of these are, sure. look really impressive. Um, yeah, we try to approach things in a slightly different way to uh, lots of other companies. Um, as I say, we have a, a lot of thermal expertise within our company, so we'll pick and choose the right technology to solve that thermal management problem. For instance, um, in a, certainly in an LED kind of printed circuit board, there's often limitations if you're making a linear um, printed circuit board to have to plug together a number of arrays or if it's a, 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 a continuous reel, then you cut them down, but they're typically low powered. So if you want a high powered solution, something like um, fluorescent tube replacement product, yeah. the limitations in the circuit board lengths can often be a problem. So at Universal Science, we have um, produced one of the longest printed circuit boards that you'll probably see in the country. Um, any kind of style big can be created up to 1.2 meters long and we have the production facility at our uh, Milton Keynes location to be able to populate that with its LEDs on it. The advantages of something like that means that you're not now having to use plug and socket connections which can be potentially unreliable, certainly additional cost and um, a very fast uh, high-speed manufacturing line, probably one of the fastest lines in the country is now available in Milton Keynes. And you're talking about some of the LED lighting you're getting involved with, and there's some interesting, are they sort of street lights towards the back of your table there? Some there of the are, ones at the back? Yes, um, <clears throat> one of our customers had a uh, potential problem. Um, they were using uh, starboards on a metal frame and having to hand wire all the starboards together. I don't know if you know what starboard is, but it's an LED basically on a substrate that's then populated onto all of these arms. Mm. What we were able to do is make the whole thing in flat form sheet and then form that afterwards. And that is a product which is effectively um, a street light uh, application. It's a, basically a bulb replacement. It enables lower cost uh, optics to be used because you're actually forming the board to the, make the direction of the light rather than trying to bend the light in different places. That was another application. So I presume actually building up on the flat means you can use standard pick and place machines, it's all standard assembly. Yes, exactly right. And so then of course the forming is, the clever bit about this material of course is it's thermally managed because it's got metal substrate. The copper is nothing too clever about that. The very clever part of this is the dielectric which is the, um, it, it's able to withstand a bend, yeah. reflow temperatures, coefficient of thermal expansion issues through the thermal cycling of the product. So there's many uh, different features of that dielectric which make it special. And of course, we talked about LED lighting, but of course you get involved in uh, quite a lot of other areas as well. What kind of other stuff do you get involved with? Uh, typically we're involved with uh, industrial solutions, um, we're involved with uh, power supplies, DC to DC converters, 
motor drive applications, medical, anything that you put electricity through quite often gets uh, a problem with heat. And we go about solving those problems with our clients. Um, typically, one of the earlier products would have been to try to assemble what would have been a box somewhat this sort of size and put all of that into one unit this size which enables you to obviously improve the size, weight and performance issues which everybody wants to, well a lot of companies want to uh, try to achieve um, improvements in those areas and this kind of technology will do it. It's basically a printed circuit board made of uh, copper but it's got multiple layers of ac active layers on the top but thermally it's um, connected from top to bottom through the thin dielectric layers. So you actually managed to get multi-layer technology in a metal in a printed circuit board, yes. Fantastic. Which keeps it quite an interesting proposi value proposition for people that want to change their form and fit and function. Yes. Interesting, well, some of the other things it looks like you've been involved with was, um, I noticed you can actually put like, quite a lot of other properties into the dielectric materials, and some of them are sort of vibration damping and Faraday shields, that kind of thing. Indeed, yes, yeah. some of the uh, many tip, uh, materials that Universal Science manufacture, um, we are, we're manufacturing over 300 different materials for cooling semiconductors of all types. So we fine-tune the requirement and we pick and choose the right material to do the job. Some of those materials, the interface materials, can have uh, Faraday shield, copper shield built into them. Because one of the problems that you could face, is particularly with high switching um, power supplies, uh, high um, uh, frequency switching, is that because the dielectric is so thin, you get a coupling between the device and the heat sink, and the heat sink starts to uh, create radio waves. So one of the things you can do is actually, well, one of the things we offer is a pad which has got a built-in Faraday shield made of copper, so it's good thermal conductivity. And then um, that copper layer can be earthed, creating a Faraday shield, which then is obviously enabling the, the two items to be thermally connected but decoupled from a switching point of view. So it's taking all the capacitive coupling out of the system? Indeed. Completely. Yeah. Indeed, yes. Yeah, and of course trying to shield a heat sink is a rather difficult proposition in there. It, it, it can be. The, the, the traditional ways might have been to use uh, a distance to do that with a ceramic tile which is very thick. But of course, okay. you know, the thermal properties now become a bit of an issue. The further away you are, the worse the thermal transfer is going to be. Yeah. Right, that's really interesting. Well, thanks for your time. My pleasure.